Hey guys, Rich Conjure, back after a long hiatus. I've been a little bit busy, haven't been able to cast as much as I wanted to. However, I am back, and I will be bringing you all the StarCraft 2 action. I have quite a few replays to make my way through, and I will be happy to do so for you, my viewers, as well as all of those who love to play StarCraft and have sent me these games so nicely. In the bottom right hand corner we will have a 2v2, we have our master spawning as Purple Protoss. On the left hand side we do have Mr. Goomba spawning as the Teal Protoss. In the top right we, we will have Zarathustra. Zarathustra, he will be known as Z, he will be the Red Zerg. And Mr. Snow as the Blue Terran. We did have a little bit of snow last night around where I am. Not too much, just slightly enough to be annoying, but that is okay. Now, we will have a PvP, PP versus TZ. It's been a little bit since I cast it, so please do forgive me. Mr. Goomba and our master communicating quite well as allies. That is uh, exactly what you need to do to be successful, especially in a 2v2. We do have that scouting probe going out for our master. He will be sending the scout. And up at the top, Z is going to have an early spawning pool coming out. This does look like maybe it was a 10 pool with the timing on that, but he will be grabbing gas. So I can see roaches coming. Uh, this probe, I don't feel as though that probe saw that spawning pool. He did not see that spawning pool. And we do have six zerglings on the way. Mr. Goomba with his gateway on the way. Our master is just finishing his up now. Mr. Snow is going to see that gateway. But is it going to be enough to hold these six Zerglings? I don't know. We will find out shortly. Did Was our master able to see those Lings? I'm not sure. I don't think he did. He's got these rally points set, but it's not. He needs it. For anyone that's playing 2v2 and you're playing Zerg, you always want to check back here always because this is usually where your spawning pool is going to go and as you can see I don't feel as though our master sees this he still doesn't see it you need to make sure you're checking that and we do have lings in the main now six lings Mr. Goomba needs to pull his probes off and fight all of them as one he's pulling a small grouping he is going to try and get the surround he is going to snipe one ling we do have five of them still running around they're going to try and take this pylon down we do have a Zealot being chronoed out, as well as a Cybernetics and a second gateway. Does our master have anything over here? We do have his first Zealot out. He is chronoing a second along with his warp gate. He's about to drop his second gate down. These probes are going to be chasing these Zerglings around. They're going to be causing all kinds of havoc. Our master pulling that scouting probe back. This Zealot is going to chase around these Zerglings. who are going for this massive Artosis pylon. And this Zelda is going to go ahead and get his buddy out here and Mr. Goomba, so that threat is now gone. Mr. Goomba now chronoing out, or having two stalkers come out, as well as uh, Warp Gate he needs to chrono. Not sure he's chronoing there, but we do have our master going into a four gate. We do have a factory down for Mr. Snow, as well as a Hellion and a Marine, and a barracks with a reactor. Bunch of lings back for Z, who is making some more lings. Going to be putting some heavy pressure on the queen, injecting that larva as she should be. We do have this overlord over here. He's going to keep an eye on what's going on. We have Mr. Goomba going to start poking up here with his stalker. It's exactly what he needs to do. He needs to be a little bit careful, but with this zealot and this stalker, that should be more than enough to handle what's going on here. But they're going to have to pull out with these marines. He does have two stalkers focused down that. And here come the lings. You need to get out of there. You need to get out of there, Mr. Gumba, very quickly before these lings get us around. And you better pull that probe back. I come, here comes our master with two zealots. And here come a whole lot of lings. Mr. Go our master going to lose his century. Our master also going to lose a stalker. That's not a good position to be in. These two zealots going to start hacking away at these lings. This marine is going to lay down the DPS he needs to. Do they have enough up here? We do have four zealots from our master. Mr. Goomba, preliminary call in the GG. However, we do have a clutch force field keeping two of those lings out while these two stalkers can go to town. Here comes our master following up with his zealots. 
they're going to be able to clean this up just fine with what they have. These two probes appear as though they're on a hold position. That's what they need to do. Oh, they were throwing down some attack damage. We have four zealots and four stalkers from our master. We have a whole bunch more lings coming up here. I don't feel as though they're going to do the damage that they need to do. There's just too many units that are up here to deal with these. They just don't have the DPS that they need to get rid of everything up here. Our master warping in a couple of sentries. That's exactly what he needs to do along with a stalker. A couple of force fields and those lings will be next to useless. These lings are going to hang out down at the bottom here to make sure they understand exactly what's going to be coming their way. This marine also going to be hanging down the bottom so they know when the push out is going to be. And it does look as if we are getting ready to move out, possibly. Uh, this scouting probe going to see what's going on. He is going to be sniped by these hellions. No problem. <clears throat> if we take a look at the unit's loss tab, Mr. Gumba has lost the most amount of resources, however. We do have Zerg losing 22 units. He is using them a little bit more disposably. Here come a bunch of lings, but there's just too many stalkers and zelts for them to deal with. A couple of zelts coming down from Mr. Goomba. Going back to the production tab, we do have Stim, which is about three quarters of the way done. Two more Hellions on the way, as we do have that factory has been switched with the barracks for the reactor. This barracks, he's just chilling. And we do have a major engagement down here. A couple of force fields going to block the links from getting any kind of close-up engagement. But this Hellion enjoying them force fields as they cannot close the distance. And this is just so many stalkers and zealots and a couple of sentries just to turn down some guardian shields and force fields. That tank does go down. These zealots are up here just wreaking havoc. And there's even more. We have a major engagement was that a four gate says mr snow indeed it was i believe from both players it was from both players mr gumby even with the twilight council these two queens going down our master a very slow one yes it was the hmm okay is these links are going to go down way too fast this tank not going to be doing very much we do have a macro hatch going up, but I just don't feel as though it's going to do enough. There's just so many units in here. Mr. Snow trying to throw down another factory. He is going to lose this one. This Marine probably not going to finish this Evo Chamber trying to get that plus one armor out. These Zerglings are going to try and run by, but they were sniped. This Zealot for our master, he is going to micro that back. It's a very good decision from him. Two Banelings not going to do the damage they need to. Well, GG from Z. He's trying to get these spine crawlers to finish. They are not going to finish in time. It does look like our master throwing down his expansion now that he feels he can safely do so. This spine crawler going to go down. Z has just left the game. These drones are now getting destroyed as his partner is getting all the income from this. Mr. Goomba with Blink now finished. These drones are not going to be mining anymore. So we do have a couple of proxy pylons from Mr. Goomba. We do have a single uh, bunker here, but Mr. Goomba with the blink micro, pretty decent blink micro. He is not losing one stalker in this engagement. Needs to probably start focusing down a couple of those SCVs. That's exactly what they're doing. But there is just too many SCVs repairing. Barely saving that. Mr. Snow with the yes. That massive bunker. That one bunker just causing all kinds of pain for Mr. Goomba, but that Blink Micro is able to keep several Stalkers alive. That Marauder going to go down, going to try and pull some SCVs. It's just not going to be enough as our Master has so many Zelts, and they just tank damage. And there's the GG from Mr. Snow. He has left. These sentries shooting out their super slick little, uh... Like, I don't even know what that's called. Disruption beam? Because why not? Anyway, it does look like our master, Mr. Goomba, were the victors in this match. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll talk to you guys later.